I'm Dr. Robertson. Welcome to Dr. TV 2018. Coach Parks, the South View Cheerleading Coach. On October 27th, we invited girls kindergarten through eighth grade to our cheer clinic to see what South View Cheerleading is about. We taught them several cheers, band dances, and chants, and they got to enjoy and see what we actually do at our practices. I'm Sandra Richardson. I'm the new foods and nutrition teacher here at Southview. Um, I came to Southview after my third career. Um, first and foremost, I was a military wife, um, retired, then went to county government. After county government, I decided that I wanted to teach. So I am a lateral entry teacher. I have my sociology degree. I also have business and I have art. So I have many, many years of college from different, different areas. Um, Southview brought me, first and foremost, because he gave me the opportunity. As a lateral entry teacher, it allowed me to come in with all of my vast history and become a part of Southview. I do teach Foods 1 and Foods 2. It's a new field for me, but it's exciting and the kids seem to enjoy it. My name is Mike Sartain. I'm a PE teacher to tell for PE um, and one advanced PE class. I went to Carolina, I'm a Tar Heel, and graduated many, many, many years ago. This is my 19th year teaching, and I came to Southview for the opportunity to teach here in a great school, um, and to be able to coach football in the best football team in the state. I'm very excited about their se our season that we're having. My name
name is Sergeant Major Ruby Murray. I'm the JRTC instructor here at Southview High School. After serving 27 years in the United States Army, I am proud to say that I am a United States veteran. But more importantly, I'm glad that I'm a JRTC instructor here at Southview High School. OTC changed my personality, my way of living, the way I do in my school. To me, the best thing about JRTC is the PT because whenever we go out there, we get hyped and we get turned up and we do our PT like we're supposed to. When you get to do drill, um, PT, you get to hang out with Sergeant Major, she jokes about you. Lewis. I'm uh, SRO here at Southview. I was in the Air Force for 21 years. Hello fellow Tigers. I'm Mr. Brooks. I've been on the faculty like 23 years. Prior to coming to Southview, I was a military one officer, retired from the United States Army after 23 years of proud service in 1993 and then became a teacher. Thank you. Hi, my name is Regina Smith and I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I was a E-5, which is a sergeant, for nine years in the military. And I definitely learned some valuable lessons while I was in the military, especially discipline. Thank you. Hey, I'm Mr. Fisher. I was in the Army for nine years at Fort Bragg, and I retired, uh, medically retired as a staff sergeant. Hi, my name is Tanshanika Evans. I served in the United States Army for 20 years, and I retired as an E-7. I don't always talk about my military service, but when I do, I'm Army proud. Hooah.
it shows me how much someone can go through and it really inspires me to become uh, someone in the military one day. By making me a stronger person. My father was in the military, so it made me want to follow in his footsteps and be strong and brave. Mom has taught me how to be brave and how to stand up for what I believe in. By teaching me the importance of helping those in need. Because what he does is very brave. He inspired me to never give up when times get rough. How to never give up and be strong. They helped me see that family was important and they showed me love. I've had three veterans raise me. My dad was gone a majority of the time when I was like younger in um, elementary school. And they've just taught me to like appreciate where we live and what we have. By teaching me how to be strong and never give up. We have six returners on this team, a few veterans that started last year and, and played well for us. So I think they're going to really gel some of the young kids together. And it's going to be a challenging year because we have a really strong conference, but I feel like we're going to be fine. We have a lot of different drills that we do. We, we do work on fundamentals a lot. Uh, we have a lot of team drills where we encourage them to look for their teammates and create things. Uh, we want to play defense. Um, no matter what kind of team we have, we, we really have an emphasis on defense, so we do a lot of defensive drills, and we do a lot of uh, rebounding drills as well. We want to play uh, a little methodical, take our time and be patient, look for some advantages we might have inside, uh, pressure them on defense, and be a real good fundamental boxing out team so we don't give them any extra chances. The team's actually already voted on captains this year. There are Lillian Flantos, who's a senior, and then two juniors, Tashara McNeil and Mia Ayers. Well, I always say that student comes first and student athletes, so we expect them to not just be eligible, but to be excelling in the classroom, and that's not just doing well in grades but also being good leaders and role models and we want them to be just excellent students. I expect for my team uh, a great bond and to work together in games. What my team needs to work on the most is communicating with each other so that we can create a better bond.